Hello, welcome back, Steve's Retirement Corner. Cowbell Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. It's a great way to start off the new year, welcoming a new class of uh, Cowbell Club members. <laughs> I appreciate everybody that's allowed me to ring them in this past year. It's, uh, it was nice of you, and I really uh, I get a kick out of it. <laughs> so, but we got a pile of them this month. So I guess I, I better go ahead and start start reading them out, or we'll never get them in. Let me see it. I got them down on my. There we go. These first two, I'm not really sure. I got question marks beside them because I've had them down for a while. And I never got a specific date. I just got the end of 2023 down there. So they might have changed their mind. But I put them down here anyways because it's a date I had. Rod Elon, end of 2023. And T-Body 43, he also retired on 20, in, at the end of 2023. We got a lot of good names this month. <laughs> Hasty Contemplation retired on 1231 of 23. Marty's mom, I like this one. <laughs> she retired on 1229 of 23. That was her retirement day, but her 12 the first day of December was her last working day. She vacationed her time out, so. And then you got uh she wrote down that her husband was still working, but he's able to retire at any time. So uh at least her going first to give him an idea of what it's like out there, I guess. That'd be rough, though. And we didn't have that problem with one who went to work and the other one stayed home, you know. It, uh, when I retired, that was it, so. I don't know. That, that, I, I think that would be rough for me. <laughs> so. All right. So we get uh, Christine Smith. Retired on 12-22 of 23. Wrote down that she was excited and scared. And that's the way retirement is, man. It's an exciting and a scary thing at the same time. You know, it's sort of like when you, uh, when you were a kid and you, uh, you, you run into Santa Claus at the store somewhere. You know, maybe he was out in front of a store somewhere or something. You know, you was excited he was there, but you were scared to go up to him, you know. <laughs> it's the same for same for retirement. Uh, Rick Anderson, twelve twenty-two of twenty-three was his retirement date. He worked forty years, six months, and two days for the same company. <laughs> Think you weren't counting them days down? <laughs> Man, that's a long time spent with one company. For me, it is. I mean, I, eighteen years is the longest I ever spent with one company, and I worked probably probably 30 different places <laughs> so that's amazing to me congratulations to you buddy so he was looking forward to my time being mine since for, for the first time since he was a kid Jay Holiday retired December of 2023 at the Five Forks retired on 12 15 of 23 he turned 66 on 11 23 of 23 and retired on December 15th of 23. Said he'd been working since he was 14 years old. Man, that's a long time to put in, Doc. You deserve it. All right. We got uh, D. Prochaska. Uh, Dave is his name. He's from Minnesota. He retired on 12 1 of 23 at 61 years old. Said he worked 63. No. He's 61 years old. He worked 39 years at construction work. That's a tough job, especially up there in that Minnesota weather, Doc. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. There's no way I could have done it. Well, good for you, buddy. Joseph M Modler. Might be Moodler, M-O-O-D-L-E-R. Retired on uh, December of 23. Second, hand, second Wind Workshop. Retired on 12-22 of 23 at 54 years old. 
and Ozone Fred. That just tickles me to read that name. <laughs> he retired on 1229 of 23 after 38 years. At 62 years old, he wrote down, put a fork in me, I'm done. <laughs> I think a lot of people feel that way. So, congratulations to you, boss. Uh, J.D. Jeanette, I wrote that down as the first name, retired on February, Friday, December 29th, was her last day. Her husband was, she wrote down that her husband was 10 years older, and it was time to retire and go home and have some fun. So, and I, I agree with that, man. You guys ought to enjoy yourselves as much as you can, man. You put in the hard work it took to get there, man. You did enough right to get there. You earned it, man. There's no, there's no two ways around it. Y'all need to go out there and enjoy yourself best you can. I believe that. But let's ring the bell for everybody. I rang out a little bit longer because we had so many. I want to make sure everybody got it in. But uh, I just want to tell everybody congratulations, man. I'm happy for you. I'm, I, I wish you a long, healthy, and happy retirement. I really do. It's a, it's a big milestone in your life, and it's something to look forward to and enjoy. And you ought to be proud. It, it, it's not an easy thing to attain, but you're able to do it. So, but uh, oh, I'm over at Mama's in my little winter studio, so to speak. So I don't have a glass of tea to <laughs> to toast you in, but I got a little bottle of water here. So we'll we'll do that, and we'll let everybody take off. <laughs> So y'all, uh, y'all enjoy yourselves and uh, take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of the week best you can, and uh, congratulations, everybody. And we'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>